Assalamu alaikum everyone. Welcome to our new vlog. Today we're going to go back to the fishing pier. So come along with us and enjoy the views. At the Sham was able to catch a striped bass and the size of it, mashallah, is very, very nice. So this is the fish he's been wanting to catch ever since he started fishing. And I'll go into detail about how we cooked this. We did a fish salad and cooked just some plain rice with it. So let's get started. So as per usual, at the Sham ended up descaling it and cutting it down to size. And here I'm going to put the uh, container full of water. And in here, I'm only going to add salt because this is fresh. I don't need to add any vinegar. If this was an old fish, then yes, definitely add vinegar into your water as well. But since I'm cooking this the following day, I'm just going to put some salt in there, mix it around, and I will put the fish in there to sit for about 10 minutes. So here I am adding all the pieces of fish into that water. And I'm going to show you, just like you can see on this piece, the little pieces that are extra that should be taken off because I had this in the fridge overnight it's a little stuck to the actual bones and things so what I'm going to do is I'm going to let it soak in the water for a bit so it softens up and I'll take a wooden skewer or you could take a knife and just go in and scrape it out because you want the fish to be as clean as possible before you add masala onto it and you fry it So here you'll see me go in with a wooden skewer and just start taking it apart. Only those areas. You don't want to touch anything else because the meat too can easily break. So you want to be as gentle as possible. So this is how the fish looks like after 10 minutes. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take this bowl and spill out all the water. And next to this bowl, I'm going to add a colander so that I could put the fish there to dry. So what I'm going to do is place that colander right there. And with the fish, I'm going to run it under some cold water and start putting it into the colander to dry off. So here you can see all the pieces. This is after I've rinsed everything out. I'm going to let it dry 10 minutes on one side and 10 minutes on the other side. And this is how all the pieces look. And with this, I'm going to just get a few simple ingredients to make masala. I'll let this marinate for about three to four hours before I actually go ahead and cook it. So in this, I'm taking it out and putting it into a bowl. And I'll add the ingredients in the description box. But this is just to marinate for the three, four hours. Once you do this, you want to mix it all around. Make sure everything is flavored properly and just stick it in the fridge. So this is how everything looks when it comes out. And at this time, I'm just going to start up on my regular masala ingredients. For that amount of fish, I'm using three onions, seven tomatoes, six cloves of garlic, this much ginger, and two chili peppers. 
You can, of course, add more or less chili powders according to your taste. Then here I am after I've chopped up all the onions. So I'm going to put this on the heat to fry with some oil. Next, I chop up the tomatoes to leave on the side so that I already have everything prepared. And here's the things that I'm going to add into the mortar and pestle. I'm going to take off the skin of the garlic and the ginger and I'm going to piece this up into a paste. And you want it a little chunky because the flavor of it comes out better than it being totally smooth. So this is how my onions looked before I added in the paste. You want it just a slightly brown and you want to make sure that this masala comes out really good. You don't want to undercook it at all because the taste of it is not going to be there and you don't want to overcook it otherwise it'll have a burnt taste. So after I add in the paste I'm going to fry it until I don't no longer smell the ginger and the garlic. After this I'm going to add in the tomatoes and I'm going to cook it down until the oil begins to separate. These are the ingredients for the masala that you're going to put into the onions and tomatoes. And I'll list them right here on the screen as well as down below in the description box as well. This is how everything's looking like right now. The tomatoes and everything. Right now the oil still hasn't separated so I'll show you in a little bit how it looks. And here you are. This is how it looks when the oil begins to separate. And this is the time where I just ended up using a hand blender and smoothing it out. So this is how it looks once it's smoothed out. And I'm going to take the fish out of the fridge and begin to fry it. I'm taking four pieces at first because you don't want to overcrowd it. And I am going to fry it on both sides. And here's how the rest of the fish is going to look like as well. So I was able to do all this into three batches because of how much fish I had. And mashallah, everything came out very nice and smooth. And this is how everything looks. Now you're going to keep this on the side until you are done with your masala. After the masala cooked down, I ended up adding about three to four more cups of water. And I put the fish in there to cook. And I'm going to leave it on dumb for about 20 minutes. On the side, I also did some rice. Here it is on dumb. I'll cook this for 20 minutes and this is how it looks when it comes out. And I hope that you guys try this and this is how it looks like plated up. See you guys in the next vlog. Allah Hafiz.